Do you want the blessing of God in everything you do? I know I do. Well, the Bible shows us how it's done. Let's read the first three verses of the very first psalm. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Do you want to be blessed? Then don't follow the advice of those who do not know the Lord. Don't stand around with those who break his commandments. And don't sit down with those who sneer at his righteous law. Instead of that, delight in the law of the Lord. The Hebrew word for law is Torah, which means the instruction of Jehovah. Meditate in it, that's study it, think about it, pray over it, day and night. You'll see the word law is singular in verse 2. We can talk about God's laws in the plural, but it's the Torah, the single whole package, which we are to delight and meditate in. You see, the law of God expresses the character of God. You might say, I have the grace of God, what more do I need? Well, you need firstly the blessing of God, and you need secondly to be praying with the mind of God. That's why you need to delight in the law of God. Study it and put it into action in your life. You can begin by reading and studying God's moral and civil laws which govern the human world and hold human society together. You'll find them all through the Bible. Delight in them because they were given for our good. Next, look at the sacrificial laws. Now, they were fulfilled in the sacrifice of Christ, but still delight in them because they show that God loves you and me so much, he always planned for us to be reconciled to him through the precious blood of Jesus. And then appreciate the laws of nature, which God put in place to govern the physical world and hold the universe together. Scientists from Newton to Boyle, from Archimedes to Einstein, have discovered God's laws and they are still hard at it. God's laws are all around you, giving life to everything that lives. Delight in them all. If you do this, God's word for you is that you'll be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. You'll be drawing refreshment from the very fountain of life. You'll bring forth fruit in its season. What you do will rebound to the glory of God. You will advance his kingdom. You will remain strong. Your leaf will not wither. You'll keep going when others drop. You'll shine while they fade. You'll have a testimony of hope and encouragement. By delighting and meditating in his law, whatever you turn your hand to will succeed. Now look, you may have to be patient. You'll have to be diligent. It won't come easy. There may be setbacks. There will certainly be attacks. But God's promise is that if you do what this psalm so clearly tells you to do, you will experience his blessing in every area of your life, spiritually, emotionally, physically, financially, in work, in family, in preaching the gospel, and in building the kingdom of God here on earth. Whatsoever you do shall prosper. No ifs, no buts. That's the promise of God Almighty. It is there for you when you delight and meditate in his law. So what are you waiting for? I want you to know the fullness of the Lord's blessing. This is your time. Seize it. Do it.